basically they're using your energy so I want to show you I already showed you how they brought your how your energy came down through the stars or to the earth now that makes you the stars below okay so now that your energy descended from the stars came down here now you have an enemy down here you have someone that's down here in the Bible they call him the devil it got all kind of names for him and stuff right but it don't matter what his name is right all that matters is that you be able to see whoever fits this character pretty much right so so um so yeah whoever this person is it doesn't even matter I can tell you this much that the system that we live under isn't good and, I, and that goes for any system that anybody live under unless that system is by the people and for the people you see what I'm saying if that system ain't by the people and for the people and it's for a small group of people over here then that's going to end up being an agenda for that group instead of you know a living arrangement for the people you see what I'm saying so you don't want no group making a living arrangement for the people because then they're going to make the living arrangement based on their agendas and we don't need none of that so let me hurry up and get into it you know because everything connects like like I'm ready to talk about money I talk about politics I talk about the stars but all this is connected everything nothing is separated that's what's wrong with people they got everything separated in their minds okay so basically the politics or the system or whoever you want to call it uh, I like to call them the farmers you know whether it's uh, Kim Jong-un or whoever it is I'm not even really into politics like that only to the point that I don't like that they make us subject to whatever it is they want to do as criminals you know what I'm saying they shouldn't have no right over our life they shouldn't have no more say over our life than we have over our life because I have an 18 year old right now and I can't tell her what to do you see what I'm saying and you know I'm going up there on 40 years old and stuff you see what I'm saying probably not even quite 40 you see what I'm saying but basically I can't tell her what to do so why can they call themselves my authorities and tell me what to do you see what I'm saying so they shouldn't be able to tell me what to do because if people really look at what's being done here what's being said here the word authority is the same as the word Arthur. Uh, Arthur is a, 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 a book writer. So that book writer, he writes what he wants in that book. So that ended up being y'all law books, our law books, I guess to say. And we know there's only one law, and that's uh, free will and God's law, whatever else you want to call it, but we can get into that later. But the thing is, is who's writing your story for you? See, you're supposed to be writing your own story. You've been given a set of standards by society to stand up to, to live up to, in order to be approved or denied. You see what I'm saying? Uh, that's why you see a lot of homeless people on the street. Obviously, they've been denied. Well, you know, you can say they denied themselves for not playing their game, but oh well, okay? So, let me show you how this thing works, though, okay? The word currency stands for the word current, an electrical current. As we know, water carries electrical charges, and it carries the current. Even the oxygen in the air is carried by the current of water. Um, so, when they give us this currency, this money, what they're really doing is tagging this currency to your real electrical energy. So, you're running through this system with your energy. So, we already know that a current goes through a system so you would have like a um, you have a radio system or something right or any kind of system like a cell phone system or a computer system all those things see those are all systems so what does that system take that system take a current to go through it right and then when that current go through there that current hit all the components that it needs to hit in order to make that system work and perform that system's orders and commands okay 
So that's just the radio or a television or a computer we're talking about here. Okay? But now when we talk about the actual system we in, and no, it's not a radio, and no, it's not a computer. It's kind of like a computer, kind of. But when we talk about the system we in, you can look at it as a radio or a computer if you want to. That's fine if that's how you want to look at it. But this has to do with our real lives that our children and everything has to do with. You know, and this system that we're in, we got presidents and other presidents of other countries talking about slanging nuclear weapons over our heads. Well, our children is here, and we supposed to just be like, okay, with this, get us lower gas prices or whatever. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, so if you can see what's going on here, they are using that money to tag it to you and and and, and, and clock in your work on how much energy you're giving to the system. You see what I'm saying? Because every system, whether it's a computer or a radio, need to be powered up. And how are they powering it up? They're powering it up with you. With you doing what they want you to do. Now, do they have a right to do this? Uh, no, not really, because they make themselves the authorities. Now, we got to understand what that means. If you are the authority over us, the question is how? What did you do to be able to get this position? Did you do something wonderful? Did you do something great? Did you really take care of humanity? Did you look out for them? Did you love us? Did you show us justice and true freedom? No, you didn't. You see what I'm saying? So, so how are you going to be our authorities? How did you get this position? Okay, well, let's go into that. It's real simple. They pulled out a lot of guns on a lot of people and killed a lot of people and did a lot of devious things. That's what happened. Right Now they call themselves moral and say they get the right to be your authority, your author, the writer of your book, of your story, of your life. You see what I'm saying? By using their currency and by using their paperwork and the false law, which is a lot of penal codes and all kind of codes. Y'all hear that word code? Yeah, so y'all need to decipher this stuff and see what this truly means. You see what I'm saying? Because law and code is two different things. You got natural law, which is universal law, which is uh, common law. You see what I'm saying? And then you got man's law, which is unnatural, which is put in force by a, a, a threat and duress. Okay, these people are threatening you. See? A threat and duress okay these people are threatening you see see if you don't pay your smud and see that's another thing that goes with what I'm talking about right now I know I'm jumping around because everything is connected like I told y'all everything is a web so should you be paying your, should you be paying for smud no you shouldn't be because that electricity that you pay for is naturally coming from coming throughout the universe is naturally coming from the Sun and naturally flowing through your body as a part of your very nature, just like you drinking water and, and, and breathing in air, is that electricity flowing through your body too. So why should you be getting charged for smut? You see what I'm saying? See, they playing us. You see what I'm saying? So basically, smut make you come down there, right? And pay them at their institution, right? This is all a system. So you got to get on the streets and remember that the streets break open any kind of uh, electronic you got and look at the streets. The same exact thing. All them patterns to new institutions to power ports. You got these little uh, power centers, right? Like like uh, 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 the courts is a power center. Um, SMUD is a power center. Uh, church is a power center. You see what I'm saying? These are all different power centers. Uh, Safeway grocery store is a power center. That when you go get your currency, you run to it and put your energy into these power centers. You see what I'm saying? That is actually enslaving you. That's actually keeping you down. You know what I mean? And you know, they throw other people more than others, you know, to make the system balance itself out. Because you're going to have those at the bottom complaining, and you're going to have those in the middle 
trying to keep what they got and trying to rise. And you're going to have those at the top trying to keep those right up under them and those up under them, the ones up under them even down because they need their foundation to stand on. And that is you. So when you go look at the money, the money has a pyramid. The top part is separated from the bottom part. The bottom part don't have no light around it. That's a structure, bricks that's put in place as slaves. That's supposed to be you. The top part is separated from the bottom part. It has a firmament in between it. And the top part has the eye in it. And it's the pinnacle. And it also has the light around it, which is the sunlight that's standing behind it, which represents also that you cannot see without light. And the all-seeing eye also represents what you can't see, which means all. You see what I'm saying? So if I can see what I can't see, then I see all. You see what I mean? So they putting all that stuff on there. And if you look close on the money, it's a man inside of a web. You remember I told you that the truth is a web? So if you look close to the money, it's a man inside of a web like this. So that's you. That's inside of that web. That's inside of that system that is taking this currency to all these power centers. You see what I'm saying? So right now, you're a slave. You don't even know how it really is to be in heaven because being in heaven is a mind state, just like uh, Tupac said. Being in heaven is a mind state. So right now, they took that mind state away from you. And right now, they're kind of like trying to have their heaven in turn uh, 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 giving you hell at the same time. You see what I'm saying? That way, you don't get to feel your truth. they also saying that they're your God. You see on the money, it says in God we trust, and they got the presidents right up under it. Okay, so they actually saying that you're God, too. So, if someone say, hey, I got authority over you, they saying that they control your spirit. You see what I'm saying? So, who gave them authority, and what did they do to get it? First of all, I didn't know I gave up my authority. Now, now let's be clear about something, too, that a lot of people don't realize. When you signed over your child's birth certificate, or when your parents signed over your birth certificate when you was a kid, they actually gave up your free will and signed off your authority to self. Now, they can actually uh, refuse that. They can be like, no, nah, I'm not uh, signing this. You know what I mean? And then um, the doctor would be like, probably like, you sure? You, uh, uh, your kid probably won't, you know, are, are you sure you don't want to sign it? You'd be like, no, I don't want to sign it. I don't, I don't, I'm cool. I want to uh, be able to own my own child. You know what I mean? And they say, oh, uh, oh, oh, okay. The doctor, you'd be sitting there with your child and the doctor, like, oh, okay. Oh, well, uh, let me see if, uh, if, if we can, if we can do that somehow. I don't, I don't, I never heard of that before. That's what the doctor will say usually. Now the doctor itself probably didn't hear it before, they probably did hear it before. But whether they did or not, it doesn't even matter because the system is doing this, right? So when you sign your child's birth certificate over, you're giving up your child's free will. So that doctor's gonna be like, okay, well, let me go check real quick and and, and then they're gonna go check and see and they're gonna tell the uh, other doctor, the, the little higher up than them, what you are requesting in here. This person here is actually requesting to own their own baby. Now we know the system needs to own a baby, and the doctors say, um, go in there and tell them that, you know, the child won't be able to receive any government benefits of, of no kind, and if she is poor and she needs money and need to get on welfare and that, the baby, she won't be able to get on welfare with the baby if she don't sign over that baby to us right now. You see what I'm saying? So, she come back in there, tell you all that stuff, and you be like, okay, okay, that, that's fine with me, I just don't. Well, my answer, the doctor like, you sure you don't want your baby to have any kind of benefits or any kind of help from the government? Da, 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 da. I'm like, yeah, I'm positive about that. Okay, well, okay, well, let me go, and I'll be right back. At first, she was going to say, let me go, but no, let me go, I'll be right back. Now she's going to go ask him, okay, well, she still don't want to do it, so what do we do? And he said, okay, let me go in there and talk to her. And then the doctor coming in with his white, white coat on. Hi, how's it going? My name is Dr. Phil, or whatever his name is, right? Hey, how's it going? Uh, oh, yeah, I, I hear that you uh, want to uh, pretty much own your own kid, or not sign your child over to the government. Is this is this what's going on? I mean, 
Okay, I guess the other doctor did explain to you that you wouldn't be able to get any kind of government benefits and this and that, this and that from, um, you know, our controllers here, our farmers that want to breed your children and breed you so they can own them and do what they want to them and slap them in cages and tell you you can't whoop them but they can slap them in cages. You see what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, so, so yeah, the doctor going to be like, okay, well, let me see what's going on, I call, and they, they're probably going to bring some kind of paperwork up, because really what they're looking for is how much do you understand about this process? Basically, are you going to sign off the registration in your car? Are you going to sign over the papers to your home to us? Or are you going to sign over the papers to your child? Are you looking at it like this? Or are you looking at it? How are you looking at this? You know what I'm saying? How are you looking at this? How are you looking at this? <laughs>